So uh, for the rest of the membership, we are merely waiting and um, uh, waiting in terms of uh, uh, to discuss whatever outcome within the context of um, our negotiating group. So uh, definitely representatives of AOSIS within the uh, group of 24 that is currently working on the text to, to report back to the group. But as far as, um, but I think interesting developments have occurred uh, 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 at the plenary uh, this morning. Well, this is Friday, uh, in which a group of con group two presidents more or less have rejected whatever outcome the 24 uh, the, the group friends of the chair are doing, and um, they were speaking on behalf of a number of countries as well. So it's it's giving it it's giving a new dynamics, and I think we have always asked for a party-driven process, and it's for us it's 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 really uh, unfortunate that we have been left out uh, of the whole uh, whole process and then it's probably most likely that we won't uh, achieve what we, we want like we wanted i mean the ASS, we wanted the legally binding commitment i think it's not fair on us i think the leaders should really look look at look down to us and see and see, and see how we are how we the, uh, how we the AOC's countries we are, are struggling because our survival really depends on on whatever the outcome, on whatever the outcome from this uh, meeting we are, is, um, we, the youths, all the Pacific Islanders, we look up to them, and definitely I must say 100 percent, they have let us down. I'm, I'm not only sad, but pissed and angry. We have, we need this deal. We, we don't want it. We need it. It's our survival we're talking about here. Please listen to us. Even though we we don't have a deal this month this year, then there is a need for a deal in the future. Yeah, we won't take it. We won't. We, we, we personally, my advice to the leaders would be: you're signing a suicide pact. You're gonna kill your people. You know, it may be fast in some places, maybe slower in other. We just did a study in the Caribbean. Two degrees would guarantee us at least two meters of sea level rise. We did one study for the Caribbean, not the whole Caribbean, just the English-speaking Caribbean. With one meter sea level rise, just infrastructure, a hundred billion dollars. No airports, you know, ports, let alone if we start talking about settlements, agriculture, fresh water. So it's not a matter of whether we have room to maneuver. We literally, the room we had to maneuver was 10, 12 years ago. We've wasted all of this time, and now the clock is running out. We, we will be the last to walk. Yeah? Um, our, our point is, we can, if we walk away, we leave business as usual. And business as usual is killing us, right? So we can't, nothing we will do is going to jeopardize our future by our but own actions. Said, 